Hello everyone, my name is Veritas, welcome back to Destiny. This is the second time I'm recording all of this, because the first time, it all went to shit. All of it's broken. It's all gone. It's all dead. It's rotting in a ditch somewhere. Where there's someone taking black and white photographs of it and showing it to people in the future saying, Look at what war does to man. Look at the atrocities perpetrated by the past. Do not repeat these actions. Anyway, so inside the Crucible this week and the weekly fucking reset. The weekly reset. That's all, folks. Uh, the weekly reset this week brings some fun shit, actually. We've got Mayhem Clash and Doubles, so nice grimoire for Hunters right there. Go ahead and get your Doubles wins in. And also Mayhem Clash for LOL funsy nonsense, as well as Elimination to Trials practice nonsense. Get your get your DOS practice in. See how fast you can grab that IP address and boot people out of the game. Moving down to your daily nonsense, <clears throat> you've got Supremacy, 15 marks there. Your daily story, 15 marks there. Your Heroic Strikes this week have Solar Burn, Small Arms, and Ironclad. That means Solar Burn damage from all sources is greatly increased. Yours is double, enemies is triple, because balance. Small Arms means your primary does extra damage, while your secondary and heavy do reduce damage. And Ironclad means more enemies have shields. Enjoy. The Weekly Nightfall this week is Fallen Saber. Uh, this one has Epic, Fresh Troops, Match Game, Airborne, and Catapult. That means there's more shit to kill. More shit has shields you have to use equal shield shit killer with... Uh, airborne means you do more damage while in the air, and catapult means your grenades come back very quickly. This will not be very difficult, I don't think. As long as it doesn't have a burn, it should be fine. Match game might be a little tricky, because you have to, like, match the element with the shield with your gun and stuff like that for it to be effective. Super effective! Um, but it shouldn't be too bad. Um, if you're heading to the reef this week, go ahead and head to the Veshin Outpost, talk to Petrovenge, get your Taken War Bounty nonsense, get your... Queen's Wrath reputation increased, and while you're there, head over to Varix and grab your Elder Sigil. Once you have all that stuff and the bounties for Elders is nonsense, you can head back out into the space space and uh, go to the Prison of Elders. Level 41, you can find a Sterling Treasure box here. Your first completion of the week will get you one of those. And these pull legendary marks from your heroic playlist as well, so 30 marks total there, 2, 2, 1, 1, yada, yada, as you wish to do that. Challenge of Elders this week has Airborne, Fresh Troops, and Melee Kill Bonus. This means that Airborne may extra damage while in the air. Fresh Troops means there's more stuff to kill, and Melee Kill Bonus means you get bonus points from killing with a melee. You silly goose. Moving into the tower, if you head over to Shaxx, if you've done the Crucible quest lines, you can pick up his weekly Nightfall-esque bounty to do inside whatever game mode that happens to be in. I didn't fucking look at it. I just clicked it for video stuff. Anyway, let's head into the, uh, let's head into the, uh, whatever this is, Earth. Talk about the Wrath of the Machine. Wrath of the Machine this week, Axis Challenge Mode. So this is going to be fun if you are LFGing on, you know, r slash fire teams or an LFG site. Enjoy. You might want to take some uh, some Vicodin and drink heavily, but don't do it at the same time. That could probably kill you. But uh, this is great for pickup groups or just random assemblies of random players because access challenge mode is the hardest shit in the game. Um, you need to stun access and do supercharges per teleport. Um, if you miss either of those on any teleport, it is an instant wipe. You cannot continue. You cannot use columns to save you. You cannot pass go. Do not collect $200. Enjoy access challenge mode. It's not not worth it. Not not at all worth it. I will see you guys inside the Iron Temple for the rest of your weekly nonsense. Once you've found yourself inside the old Temple Day Iron, head down to Shiro and grab two things. You're going to want to grab your quest from him. Like I said, I've already done all this shit once, so I don't have it here, but trust me, there's a quest. It's called This Corrupted Land. I've got it over here on the progress bar. Uh, it, it's probably shiny. I haven't done anything with it. Yep, there we go. So This Corrupted Land, go ahead and grab that. Do your patrols, as well as grabbing your iron bounties for the week. These will give you lots of reputation they can also drop uh like legacy shit like shadow prices and devil you knows and comedians <laughs> kill me anyway so you grab that stuff from him and then head up to tyra banks and you can talk to her and get your stuff for the week for her Note on her, one of her artifacts is actually very, very good. I'd recommend grabbing the artifacts of the Iron Lord's quest line, completing it by doing good deeds for Grandma, whatever her name is, and uh, getting this uh, artifact of Scory. Very, very high roll here. Um, it actually breaks the artifact roll cap. So the discipline on this is actually like 103% or something crazy. Uh, it's really, really good. Uh, so I'd pick this up, Intellect Discipline, nice job there, and it's also a pretty helpful artifact to begin with, so if you need, you know, a little bit extra oomph in your discipline, go ahead and grab that. That's gonna be pretty much it. Um, I don't know if the footage of me opening the Radiant Treasure this week is corrupted or not, so just, in assuming that it is, I will just tell you what I got. I didn't get the Arctic Survivalist. The world is an unfair, 
brutal place, and I got, I think, the Royal Flush for the Monte Carlo, so we're not even going to open it. There's not, there's no reason to. We're not even going to, I'm not even going to try to salvage the footage, because there's just, it's just sad. There's just no point. There's people playing in a fire pit. Anyway, this is, this is why Axis hurts people, kids. It's because people like you. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was kind of like, wah, wacky, wacky, crazy, wonderful, hard flip. Anyway, it's been a little bit loopy. I've been awake for like three days straight now. Um, and I'm just kind of annoyed that the original rendition of this video got broken. So, yeah, have silly me. Also, I'll see you guys back in Destiny on Friday for the Zer video. If you want to see me in Destiny before Friday and more in live with music playing, Go ahead and uh, go to the description and click on the Twitch channel link. That's uh, twitch.tv forward slash Veritas. It's super simple. If you click on the link in the description below, go ahead and leave me a follow over there. You get notified when I'm going live. I am live streaming for that 77 hours emblem because I'm a vanity hog. And uh, I streamed about seven or so hours thus far. Uh, I expect, you know, weekday streams. Kind of like when you'd expect someone to go to work. That's kind of when I stream. So, you know... No one's going to watch, but, you know, it's there if you want to go ahead and leave a follow. Have fun with that. Boost my numbers a little bit more. You know, help me get partnered. That's, that's, that's fucking, that's like, that's like Destiny 3 level far off. So, yeah, enjoy that. Selfless plug. Good shit. Anyway, that's going to be it for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, much appreciate it. And as always, until the next video, have a great day, everyone. Praise the weapon. Absolutely soaking wet is Rain Man. Hallelujah, it's Rain Man. Hey.